What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Mary the Film. I'm Ralph, and this is Shamanda. Hey. And right now, we're at episode three of Battlestar Galactica. You know what it is. Yes, it is. This is Bastille Day. And, uh... That what? Bastille Day. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Let's get going, shall we? <laughs> we shall. That's a long shot. Uh-oh, uh -oh, two shots. Two shots. Okay, that's it. Oh no! You done sat down. So, what do we have? Good news, control. Colonel. We scouted the ice moon, found an entire subsurface ocean. I've got reports and video for you, uh, sir. Not exactly Catholic Beach down there, huh, Chief? No, sir. We've registered temperatures 180 and below. Venting of methane and CO2, it's gonna be a bitch to work down there, sir. Cheer up. You know how lucky we are? We found this ugly rock. Water riots breaking out all over the fleet. Civilians. Whiny. You smell it. Cry, baby. Mm -hmm. Stand, stand. Listen, a hot shower every day. Yes, sir. Even Galacticus down to 10,000 JPs of water. Ideally, a thousand men, sir. A thousand men. And where are they gonna come from? Mm. Slave labor. They are criminals and they've been sentenced to hard labor. And this is very hard labor. Oh, this is the ship that she was Not talking to about? Mention physical the color dangerous. is different. Her hair color is different. It's not for civilians. But Their ship wasn't designed for long-term incarceration. These men have been stuck in cramped cells for weeks now. They might even prefer to get out, do something, even if it is dangerous. If they volunteer, but these men are not slaves, and I will not have them treated as such. No. We could offer incentives, points, towards earning freedom. Excuse me. Excuse me. You want to start releasing hardened criminals into the fleet? Sir, these men were on their way to Caprica for parole hearings, which at least implies they may be ready for release. <laughs> Make it happen, Captain. Oh, wow. Yes, sir. Is that what Billy, to address from? Commander Adama's concerns, I'd like you to go along and set up some sort of screening procedure to weed out the hardened criminals. Yes, ma'am. I would like to have a representative from Galactica who will report directly to me about security issues. Something on your mind, Captain? I just thought maybe you had something you wanted to say. I have nothing to say to the personal representative of the president. Mm. I'm still Galactica's lead pilot. I have nothing to say to him either. Wow. Y'all just made moves. Every man has to decide for themselves which side they're on. I didn't know we were picking sides. That's why you haven't picked one yet. Ooh. Come on, Daddy. I'm a boss. <laughs> How many total? 1,500. Don't give me their files or their names. Hell, they're just numbers. Thanks, Wilkins. I'm Captain Leah Dama, personal representative of the president. We're in a crisis. Thousands of us are on the verge of dying from dehydration. And the good news is what we have found water. The bad news is it's located on a moon with harsh environmental conditions. President Roslin feels that you represent our best chance. He also recognizes that you are not slaves. Any man who volunteers to help us during this emergency will earn freedom points, which can be applied to earning his release. Mm -hmm. We're offering you a chance for a new beginning. Whoever's interested, please just raise your hand. Step out of yourself. Oh, okay. Nobody goes out. <laughs> Nobody. Thank you for your offer. We respectfully decline. Mm. Oh my God, is this is Tom Zarek. Hey, you might want to close the sales. <laughs> So who the hell is Tom Zarek? He's a freedom fighter. He's a, he's a prisoner of conscience. He's a butcher. His colony was exploited by the other 11 for centuries. His people were marginalized, brutalized. I'm from Sagittarius. And that man does not speak for all of us. He blew up a government building and there's no excuse for that. Captain, I've been watching the clock and if we're not going to get any help, we should move on. Zarek's got the prisoners united. Let's go through Zarek. Spun hospitals, scores of anti-radiation vents. Hey, well, we got two days worth left. Sharon, we've made it this far. We're gonna make it all the way. All right. Damn straight, all the way. We're doing good, real good. Hey, someone must be watching out for us. Yes, there is. She's good. So far. Jealous? This all makes me so sad. They would have destroyed themselves anyway. They deserve what they got. 
We're the children of humanity. That makes them our parents, in a sense. True, but parents have to die. It's the only way children come into their own. I'd like to talk to you. We need these men of yours to help us. They're not my men. They belong to you. I belong to you. You own us. You're the master or the slaves. You're clearly a man of principle. I respect that. Really? The things you stood for over the years, the book you wrote. The book that had to be smuggled out of labor camp because stumps aren't allowed freedom of expression. I read it in college. But it was radical, challenging. It made me question some things I'd accepted before without thinking. I used to hear on a big hit on campus. You weren't. The book was banned. I read it anyway. <laughs> Point is, I understand where you're coming from. But I don't think you understand how critical the situation is out there. People are gonna start dying. He don't care. He don't kill people. It's dark. It's time we break. How can you say that? Because it's the truth. Sarah and the SFM, they don't care about what justice. It's people. Your people have been exploited. You cannot tell me about my people. I'm not telling you about your people. Do y'all hear that going off in the back? President wants is to offer you a chance to earn your freedom. Now you've said the truth. Freedom is earned. Just here we are, Captain. It'll all be over soon. Mm. I'm gonna try anything. Back up. there, Billy. Everything's gonna be all right. I don't know about that. They don't want to hurt us. That won't get them what they want. Which is what? A pilot blows his landings and you make a joke out of it? Screaming at people doesn't always get the best results, sir. I learned that at officer candidate school. You are right on the edge, Therese. Careful you don't fall off. Speaking of falling off. Mm. Mm -hmm. Glad to see you found a way to quench your thirst. Yeah, did you think this was gonna go on? Reeking. <laughs> Took more than one shot, don't They won't negotiate while you're holding hostages. I don't want to negotiate. And what do you want? The ship. Treated like men, not animals. But we have something to bargain with. So what happens now? We're gonna talk. What about your father? Mm. Where's my Cylon detector? Doctor. It's taking longer than expected, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> What's the hang up? Me. It's not working this time, guys. He can see right through you. Well, there are a number of obstacles. None of them insurmountable, of course, but they do tend to slow us down. For a start, the, uh, well, the lack of proper facilities. The water shortage, of course. The water shortage, not to mention... Uh, Cut the BS. You said you had a way of detecting human from silo. Do you or don't you? I don't. What? I don't think that... I'm the man for this job. I'm not cut out for this kind of work. You have to do this. Why do I keep putting it off? It's my subconscious. Oh. It's my subconscious telling me, telling me that I'm not the man for this job, please. Listen mm. to me. If you don't tell him what he wants to hear, he's going to find you out. And when he does, they're going to tear your head off and throw your body out of my house! Wow. Pardon me. I haven't had much sleep recently. So. Unfortunately, he Doctor, no. for both of us, you're the last man we have. So what's the game plan, Doc? Commander, the truth is there is one way. Say it! Commander, the truth is <laughs> there is one way. I didn't want to have to ask I didn't want to have to ask you for this. But what I really need but what to, I really need to complete the project is a nuclear warhead. Is a nuclear warhead. Is that how you got to be the personal representative of the president? Because of your father? Hardly. Right. Hmm. So, they don't get along with Dama and Rosalind. They have their differences. But not when it comes to dealing with terrorists. Hey, wake up!
Thank you.